Well, hopefully you had a uh, nice evening with your sweetheart and uh, maybe noticed before you headed in that in some areas it looks threatening. Nothing in the way of precipitation unless you count mist with the fog, which we'll talk about in just a bit. Thought I'd show you where the nearest rains are. They're over northern Mississippi, Alabama, headed toward the Atlanta airport in Charlotte as well. But most of that is headed northeastward. In fact, these warm rains are headed toward where there's a lot of snow and thus flood watches and warnings are in effect from West Virginia. That is the ski resorts there through Buffalo because they're going to have about a week of warm rains over what had been snow. So pretty massive snow melt there. So let's go take a look at the winds. Remember last night at this point, even out around the beaches, winds were still gusting to over 20 miles per hour. Not tonight. Nice and calm, but because of the moisture in the air, because of the relatively mild conditions, visibilities are dropping out around the beaches and eventually they'll be reduced. This, these are double zeros. That means very dense fog. Visibility may be down to less than 100 feet over many areas of northeast Florida and southeastern Georgia. So they'll eventually clear by late morning. Uh, but again, you might want to give yourself a little extra time because hopefully traffic will be moving slowly uh, because visibilities will be tough. But after the fog, then comes the big warm up. So we got a hint of it today. But tomorrow, look at this after the morning clouds, the afternoon sun and high temperatures of 82 degrees. If you have some visitors in town, not a bad day on the sand and much better than it has been because yes, on the islands, there will be some sea fog, but then comes the sunshine and a light land breeze that is off the land. So until the sea breeze develops, even on the sand, temperatures going up to 75. And oh, by the way, surfers, uh, that surf cleaning up as well. High pressure right overhead. That's why the stage is set for some fog, but that's going to keep the big storms off to the northwest of us. The high settles south and a land breeze. That is for this time of the year under this type of synoptic scenario. That is the weather map. We're going to have winds off the land both Thursday and Friday and probably Saturday before a weak front drops into the area. So on Sunday, as compared to Saturday, not as warm, but still we're going to manage a high of about 70 degrees. Could be some isolated thunderstorms late Saturday into early on Sunday. By the way, uh, one of the biggest structures that was damaged in Irma at the beaches was the St. Paul's Gym. They're going to have a fundraiser this weekend at 1 p.m. We might want to help them out. And again, if you have some visitors in town for the week, how about six of the next seven days? Afternoon highs up to near about 80 degrees and just a few isolated showers worth on the